Welcome to our channel. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please click over the subscribe icon to get subscribed to our channel and click over the bell button to get notified about latest video. Today we are going to see how to easily memorize the structures of monosaccharides. First we will see how to memorize the structure of aldoses in monosaccharide. Next we will see how to memorize the structure of ketose in monosaccharide. First, what is a monosaccharide? Monosaccharide is the simplest form of carbohydrate which cannot be further hydrolyzed. What is a carbohydrate? A carbohydrate is nothing but a molecule or a group of molecule which contains carbon, hydrogen, oxygen in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 1. Here we have the structures of aldoses alone. We can see the structure of ketoses later part of this video. We have the aldoses alone here. The first aldose is glucose, then galactose, mannose, ribose, and xydose, glucose, galactose, mannose, these three are exos, that is they contain 6 carbon atom and pentose, the ribose and xylose are pentose, they contain 5 carbon atom. If you see clearly in these structures, you can notice that the terminal carbon atom and the a carbon atom attached to the terminal carbon atom are same throughout all the five structures that is the terminal attached carbon atom as the hydroxyl group on the right hand side and the hydrogen group on the left hand side this is because of the D conformation if it is L conformation the hydroxyl group will be on the left hand side and H will be on the right hand side so the last two carbon atom is same throughout all the five molecules and the first carbon atom is also same throughout all five molecules. The first carbon atom is nothing but the functional group aldehyde. Because all these molecules are aldose, the aldehyde functional group is the first carbon atom. Now we must see how to memorize the in-between present carbon atoms that is three carbon atoms in case of exosus and two carbon atoms in case of pentosus. First of all let us see how to memorize the structure of exosus alone. Let us first discuss about the structure of glucose. If you see in glucose structure, the hydroxyl group and hydrogen group are arranged in alternative manner. That is first hydroxyl, then hydrogen, then again hydroxyl. You can easily memorize this structure. Now, now we are clear with the glucose structure. Based on the glucose structure, let us memorize the structure of galactose. What is the difference between these two molecules? The difference is only the fourth carbon atom. The fourth carbon atom only the difference is present. Here in the fourth carbon atom, hydroxyl group is on the right side, but here hydrogen group is on the right side. If you interchange the fourth carbon atom of glucose, that is hydroxyl group to left side and hydrogen to right side, you will get the structure of galactose. Now let us see how to memorize the structure of mannose. Let us compare the structure of mannose with glucose. The difference is present only in the second carbon atom because in case of glucose, the second carbon atom has OH group on right hand side and hydrogen group on left hand side. But in case of mannose, it is just opposite. That is OH group is on left hand side and hydrogen is on right hand side. So based on the structure of glucose, you can memorize the structure of mannose. Now we are clear with the structures of exosus. Let us see how to memorize the structure of ribose. Actually, which is very easy. Ribose has all the hydroxyl group on the right hand side and hydrogen on the left hand side. And based on the structure of ribose, you can memorize the structure of xylose. Xylose has only one difference compared to ribose. That is in the third carbon atom. In third carbon atom, hydroxyl group is present on the right hand side in case of ribose and hydrogen is present on the left hand side. But in case of xylose, hydroxyl group is on the left hand side and hydrogen is on the right hand side. Now we are clear with the five structures of aldoses. Now let us move on to the structure of ketose that is fructose. Now let us see how to memorize the structure of fructose based on the structure of glucose. The similarity between these two molecules is that up to the third carbon atom, the structure is same in both the molecules. Only after the third carbon atom, 
the difference is present that is in case of glucose the second carbon atom contains hydroxyl group at the right hand side and hydrogen at the left hand side but here the functional group of fructose is present that is ketone group is present and in the first carbon atom also difference is present in glucose glucose contains the functional group but in case of fructose it contains the alcohol group which is also present in the terminal carbon atom now we are clear with the structure of fructose and we have seen how to memorize the structure of monosaccharides if you like the video please subscribe our channel by pressing the subscribe icon and click on the bell button to get notified about latest videos Thank you.